Hello, good evening everyone. Happy Friday. I'm so excited because today is the first amazing, beautiful summer day in New York and everybody is outside looking for fresh air and it just feels so good to be outside today. And I am really happy to um, host a beautiful young actress, a very talented actress, Carolyn um, Erapoglu. She is known uh, from the Netflix Stranger Things and she will be playing in an upcoming show which we will tell you in a minute. I want to invite her in so she can tell you everything herself. I am very excited to have her because she is not only beautiful inside and outside, but she is really talented. Hi, Carolyn. Hello, how are you? It's so nice to meet you. It's and nice to meet you thank too. You. Thank you for joining us at In Love. Oh, thank you for having me. About your, your new projects and what are you up to? Yes, yes. I'm so happy to be here. I heard you saying you're having beautiful weather in New York and we're yes. having beautiful weather in Atlanta too. So it must be a good day on the East Coast. Yeah, but in a way, it's not a surprise in New York. We have such a bad weather lately that today is like a, right. actually a paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm in like Atlanta, that. so it'll get really hot here within the next month or so, but we're enjoying our spring right now. Yeah. Good. good. Yeah. How are you doing during this quarantine time? I'm doing okay. I'm doing pretty good. You know, every day's different, um, yeah. but I'm, I'm doing okay. I can't complain. I'm just trying to stay busy and not go too stir crazy and stay safe and smart and stay inside when I can and not, you know, go out unless I absolutely have to. Yeah, I'm doing okay. How That's about you? Good. How are you doing? Doing good, you know, good. trying to keep busy, doing a lot of different things, reinventing myself, doing like learning new things mm -hmm. and feeling really grateful because yeah. it, it's like really reflection times. And, yeah. Uh, grateful for the frontline workers, grateful for life, grateful for family, grateful for you being yeah. on the floor with us tonight and just, you know, loving life and being grateful for my life. Yeah, I think it's a it's a huge time for gratitude right now because yeah. it kind of makes you slow down and take stock of everything and kind of for me slowing down has made me, made me appreciate things that I hadn't even been noticing before. So I agree gratitude is everything and especially the frontline workers. I every time I have my mask on, I think of how frankly it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. It's worth it. We should all be wearing masks all the time. But they're not super comfortable, and I'll take it off and get in my car and feel like, oh. And then I, I feel of, the same way. I, and I think of the, the frontline workers and the nurses who wear them for hours and hours and hours. And every time I take my mask off, I just feel so grateful for everything they're doing for us. I know. I feel yeah. the same. Every day at 7 o'clock here in New York, we hear everybody cheering. Mm -hmm. I have the windows open. Everybody has the windows open, and we're yeah. screaming and cheering. It's amazing. It's such a feeling of unity and mm -hmm. it's just it feels really good that people united like that yeah least. because how often are we all going through the same thing at the same time pretty much no matter where you are in the world you're experiencing a version of of the effects of coronavirus so we're all experiencing them differently but it is unifying you're right yes yeah Carolyn, tell me what are you grateful for during these times like five things that you're really grateful for and five things that you really appreciate during what happened this yeah time. um the first thing i would have to say is just my family and their health and knowing that we're all you know home and safe um the frontline workers for sure just because the amount of bravery and dedication and i know for me feeling like I don't know when this is going to end and how long we're going to be in this situation. And then for them, it's tenfold because it's all day, every day that they're dealing with it. Um, I'm grateful for my pets and my husband for keeping me company. And uh, let's see, I'm grateful for great art. I've been able to like, you know, watch some new shows and I've been listening to a lot of music. So I'm grateful for everyone creating right now. Mm -hmm. And, and just time. It's nice to, I'm not always really good at slowing down. I like to be go, 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 whether it's working or auditioning or whatever. So I think it took me a minute to recalibrate and slow down. But now that I have, I'm grateful to kind of have a second to take a breath. And like you said, find gratitude and yeah, just appreciate things that maybe I was taking for granted before. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. 
What are we going to talk about today? I know that you prepared for our viewers a lot of interesting things to share. Yes. And what would you like to start with? Well, I know what you're going to share, but I want you to tell us. Do you want me to tell you what I'm going to share? Yes. So we're going to talk about what I've been up to, right? So I want to talk about Outer Banks and okay. um, our cast and some music I've been listening to and the shows I've been watching. So we can dive right in with whatever you want to know. Okay, so let's start with music. Okay. Your favorite music. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so right now there's this uh, female pop artist called Fletcher that I'm loving. And it's funny, I... I will get obsessed with an album and I'll listen to it over and over and over again for like a few weeks and then I'll move on to something else. So then inevitably, whenever I circle back to something, it like reminds me of whatever time in my life I was listening to that. So I've been really, really loving Fletcher, but I'm afraid that down the line when I turn it back on, it's going to remind me of quarantine. <laughs> but she's awesome. She's just really, she's got like edgy lyrics, but she sets them to like more like girly pop, chords she's awesome so i've really really been loving her music and i'm dying for her to put out more she was actually supposed to be playing in atlanta and i was gonna go which you know all of that stuff's put on hold right now Aww, I love yeah but it, it was so funny when you yeah when you messaged me and it was like all the things i was like taking in i was literally listening to her music when you messaged me so i was like oh that's perfect Fletcher. <laughs> she's awesome everybody if you're watching and you haven't listened to her Go check her out. Her music's really, really cool. A lot of you have probably already heard of her, but I will definitely check it out. I love yeah. it. And especially your recommendation, I will definitely check it out. Yeah. I know all your fans right here. I see they all wondering and they want to know, they want to hear everything about the outer banks. So let's yeah. just get this rolling next. Let's talk about it. Everybody's outer so curious to hear what's going on with that show and, and the cast. Yeah, so I think you guys actually talked to Rudy, who plays JJ. I think maybe a couple weeks ago I saw him on your page. Um, but I don't even know where to begin. It's been so much fun. Um, our show came out on Netflix exactly a month ago today. Mm -hmm. um, and the fans are, they're amazing. I mean, they're just so, not only are they loyal, and they're really you know, they're really involved and they hype us up, but they're really, really funny and smart and clever. And they come up with the funniest fan art and the funniest memes. And so we're all getting tagged in all of these hysterical, like memes about our show and then sending them back and forth. So the fans have really, really been so much fun for this. They've been really involved. And I think for all of us, you know, when you work on a show, you hope it's going to be good. You think it's going to be good. You know, I had seen some dailies and I had watched the other cast work and I felt excited. Um, and then I even had the privilege of seeing the show in March before it came out. So I knew that I really liked it, but until the world kind of takes it in, you don't really know how people are going to react. And so I think for all of us, we were kind of waiting of like, is everyone going to love this as much as we do? Because we all truly, truly love the show. And so to have seen the fans for the last month, just, love it as much as we do and each day it seems like they're finding a new thing to grab onto. like i keep seeing people sending lady liberty um emojis. <laughs> yeah because there's a scene in the show where one of the characters calls or jj rudy calls me lady liberty and it's a really quick moment but they're just so funny and smart they just grab onto them and blow them up into larger in life so it's it's been really really fun and, and we're all the character that you play on the yes show. your character I, I play rose cameron Hi, Outer Banks memes. I see you saying hi. I play, um, I play Rose Cameron. So I am the stepmother to Sarah Cameron, Rafe Cameron, and Wheezy, and I'm married to Ward. And my character did not um, grow up in wealth. She grew up on the cut, which if you've watched the show, there's, the, there's figure eight, which is the wealthy side, and the cut, which is the not wealthy side. And then she married into this very wealthy family. And now... Um, Everyone in the show is kind of on this race to find gold. And I end up one of the players and how we're going to find this gold. And it's kind of a up for debate as to who's the, who, who gets the gold, who's going to get to keep the gold. And I make a couple shady decisions. I maybe don't always use the best judgment, but I'm bound and determined to get the gold and to stay in my life of luxury. So she was really, really a fun character to play because I don't know if I say she's a full on bad guy, but she gets to make some pretty bad decisions. So as an actor, it's really, really fun 
to get into that headspace and try to justify all of these bad decisions. So I had a really, really great time. And the cast was so much fun to work with. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's your first season for the show, right? Correct. Yes, so we, it's, we have had one season and we're all just sitting around crossing our fingers that Netflix is going to let us make more. I have to um, definitely see that show. I didn't see it yet. I was waiting to talk to you first. Yes, I hope you love it. Let me know what you think about I it. Will I will yeah. definitely. I will definitely looking forward to it. For sure. I think you'll really like it. There's a lot to like about it. Um, and watch it so that we can get one more person watching it and maybe get our season two. That's what we're all really hoping for, that call from Netflix. That's wonderful. Yeah. What else have you been up to, like discovering for yourself? What, 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 how do you pass your time? How do I spend my time? Yeah, I mean, every, it's funny. All of the days are pretty much the same, and yet they're all a little different. One uh, funny, silly thing that I have been doing is a couple of weeks ago when I realized I was going to be stuck at home, I told my husband, I was like, I think I'm going to order a kiddie pool on Amazon. So I have a kiddie pool in my backyard. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's actually so kind of big. I mean, the, it's like you can get a foot of water in it. So I will wake up, um, read, read a little bit of the news. I make myself, I let myself read. Maybe I'll check in with the New York Times for like 45 minutes, see what's going on, and then kind of take a break and read something fun. Um, and then exercise, I'll walk my dog, and then I'll spend a lot of time in my kiddie pool. <laughs> whether I'm, awesome. yeah, answering emails or uh, reading or whatever. But yes, I have spent an inordinate amount of time in my kiddie pool, and it keeps getting leaked, so it's got like duct tape all over it. It is oh not, <laughs> it's That's not awesome. glamorous. Is it's your dog glamorous. Justin there with you? He has gotten in at once. He has gotten in at once. Yes, he does. What like kind of dog work. do you have? This is a, so he actually, we always thought he's a rescue. So he's, you know, he's a mixed breed. So we always thought he was a black lab because he looks a lot like a black lab. And then for Christmas, I got his DNA tested so we could find out exactly what he was. And apparently there are golden retrievers who have, who mate with like a, uh, like he's mixed with a Doberman and the golden oh. hair becomes recessive. So he's actually a golden retriever that has dark hair. It's crazy. Wow. Um, and he acts like, like he's retriever. beautiful. He's beautiful. He's not, he's running around outside right now, right? Introduce <laughs> him. My cat might say hi, because every time I sit oh. in this room, my cat seems to want to get in on the, in on the fun. So he might pop by. <laughs> <laughs> That's so yeah. cute. Yeah. What have you been learning for yourself? Like any, anything new that you discovered for yourself or learned during this time? Yeah, I've been, I could always be better, but I have been meditating more, um, which I think before quarantine, meditation was something that I enjoyed and I still enjoy it, but now it's almost become like a survival tool because there's so much, there's so many what ifs right now and there's so much uncertainty and everything looks so different that I've, I've used that as a tool to kind of like calm my brain down. So I feel like I've gotten better at meditating, which is great. And I'm going to keep that going. Um, I said I was going to work on my French, but I've been really bad at it. And when I say my French, I have very, I don't have French. I need to work on getting, <laughs> I need to work on getting some French. So I need, I think I have some time. I'll get back on that. But yeah, so just reading and I've been watching a lot of great TV and, you know, connecting with, it's been really fun to connect with family and friends all over the country. I feel like we've discovered all of these new tools, like the one you and I are using right now. Right. To, A to lot of people are using Zoom. We're all like Zoom? getting through Zoom. Yeah, I've been Zooming a lot. I've been, you know, so it, that that's one thing that I hope to take with me from this period of time is that you can connect with people. You don't have to be in the same room. I mean, I'm looking forward to being in the same room with everybody. But I also am, am excited to take these techniques that we've all learned and perfected and use them to connect with my faraway friends more often. So I'm happy about that. Yes, thank God for, for technology, right? Oh my gosh, seriously. <laughs> I had never even heard of Zoom, and now it's like part of my daily life. I know, everybody's on Zoom. I know. Now, talking about the shows and mm -hmm. uh, entertainment, I'm sure a lot of people are watching TV all the time. Right. I'm one of them. We're all looking for the new shows and interesting yeah. Watch. What would you recommend? What are your favorite shows? I just finished um, 
little fires everywhere. Which was, I noticed that Jade, who was on that show, was on you guys' cover. Oh, yeah, she's on Elena's cover. She's yeah. amazing person. Yeah, she, and she is wonderful on the show. She's like a standout. Um, Everybody but, loves that show. Everybody I speak to, they love that show. It's really special. So if you're watching this and you haven't yeah. watched it, I'm thinking about starting it over and watching it again because it's, there's just so much to it and there's so much to enjoy. And I love so many of the performances, um, especially Kerry Washington and Reese Witherspoon were awesome, but especially the kids. The kids on the show were really, really strong actors. So that was really fun, really fun to watch. And, um, and I also, I just started the new season of Dead to Me. If there's any other Netflix Dead to Me. I was thing. looking at that yesterday. Like, how is that one? It's really good. It's really different, but the performances are great. It kind of goes back and forth between, is this really, really dark or is this funny? And they kind of straddle that line and they do a great, it's really, really good. I just started the new season. So I don't know how the new season is, but so far so good. So, yeah. What yeah. about the movies? Your favorite movies? You know, I actually, I'm going back through all of the Marvel movies in order. So I don't know as much about the Marvel universe and I'm trying to learn about it because it's so beloved. So that's what I've been watching. I've been in quarantine. We've been going through all of them. Um, if we're talking about my all time favorite movies, my all time favorite movie is Jaws. I think it's the best movie ever made. <laughs> I think it's a masterpiece. I love the movie Jaws. Um, but yeah, Jaws. Um, if we're going more like lighthearted, if we're going rom-com, I love Devil Wars Prada. If we're going, I loved Room with Brie Larson. Um, but yeah, so the one of my recent favorites was the movie The Favorite with Emma Stone. And so yeah, those are some of my favorites. But right now what I've been watching is the Marvel movies. And we just finished, um, oh my gosh, what did we just, Avengers. We just finished the first Avengers. So I've got a ways to go, but I've really been enjoying them. They're really fun. They're totally escapist, and I think they're perfect. They're a perfect thing to watch right now. That's great. I see yeah. your friends are asking you questions. They're curious if you can give some tips to a 14-year-old that wants to start to be an actress. Like yes. Yes. Um, a 14-year-old who wants anyone who wants to start acting, I would say um, you should act as much as you can, whatever that looks like for where you live. So... If you're able to take an acting class, you should take an acting class. I, I didn't, I wasn't able to take acting classes until I was older because I was doing school plays and doing theater. I would say if there are school plays, do your school plays, um, theater, anytime you can. I would say the most important thing is to make sure you really love to act because the interviews we're doing right now and Outer Banks, like all of these friendships that we've built, all of that stuff is so awesome. But that's the cherry on top of being an actor. What you guys see, all of the, if you see us on a red carpet or if you see us doing interviews, that stuff is really fun, but that's like this much of the career. And then the rest of it is the actual work, auditioning, you know, driving to three auditions a day, meeting new casting directors. So really take the time to learn about acting and make sure you really like it. And if you do, don't go for it, don't stop. Just keep, keep knocking down doors until you can get seen. Well, talking about acting, tell us how did you start acting career? Yeah, I mean, kind of like I said, I started, I was always, I was a dancer. How old were you when you started acting career? When I started acting, I mean, I was doing school plays starting in like fifth grade. So how old is that? That's like 11, well, about 10, 11. That's um, and I, yeah, and I was always putting on shows at home. Now I'm talking about doing it like at school and for fun. I'm not talking about it in the professional level. Um, I had my first professional acting job was in a musical. I did a lot of musical theater and that wasn't until I was 19. So I laid a lot of groundwork. I did school plays, theater. I got my degree in dance in college. And yeah, I kind of just started when I was a little kid by putting on shows at my grandma's house. And then I kind of, I just never stopped. I'm somehow still doing it. People, I'm still all these years later doing it. So I don't feel like I ever made the decision to do it. I just kind of have been doing it, and I guess I just never stopped. What are your favorite moments during your career? Like, can you remember the favorite moments that really yeah. stayed with you? I had a really, really special moment actually filming Outer Banks. Um, for those of you that are watching that have watched the show, um, episode five, we have this big glamorous party, and we're all dressed up, and we filmed on the beach, and it was a nighttime party, so we filmed all night. So that in and of itself was... It was just spectacular. It was beautiful. The, the whole cast was there. The scenery was 
exquisite. And then on top of that, the way my schedule worked out, the next day after we were filming, I was doing the Stranger Things red carpet premiere in Los Angeles. So there was like a 24 hour period where I felt so cool because I was shooting Outer Banks in this beautiful episode and we were all so excited. And I got on a plane at three in the morning and then flew to the West Coast from Charleston, got off the plane and then went right into hair and makeup and then went onto the red carpet. So it was like a crazy, like I kind that of remember sounds, some sounds. It was intense, <laughs> but it was like, it, I, I was like, I can't believe that. This is all happening in 24 hours. And it was really intense, but it also made you realize like, oh, it's so cool to be a part of these productions that people are so invested in. I mean, Stranger Things, especially at the time was larger than life. So to be a part of that was really cool. And then to have that back right up into Outer Banks, which people are starting to really respond to as well. It's fun. I think. I think the connection with people is fun. Seeing people get to enjoy everyone's hard work is, is the best part for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. So if, what, what is the first thing you're gonna do when this quarantine is over? What do you think the first thing you're gonna do? The first thing I'm gonna do, <laughs> you know what, I'm dying. Well, okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is like hug all of my family and friends. <laughs> Be glad that we're on the other side of this. That's the first like serious thing I'm gonna do. The first, the thing I'm dying to do, which is silly and inconsequential, is just like go walk around a store and just like touch things. Right. <laughs> Not so, we're so in need of touching things, just, each other, hugging, and everything. I don't even want to buy anything. I just want to walk around and be out in the world and not be stressed. But the first thing for sure that I want to do is, is see all my family and friends and just hug everybody and just be glad that we made it through. I know. Yeah, what about you? What's the first thing you want to do? But, oh, I'm gonna like get all my family together and celebrate our birthdays. My yeah. sons, both twins, and me, we, we three days apart. Oh, yeah. In April, so we didn't get a chance to see each other during our oh. birthdays. So, this first thing that we're gonna do get the whole house huge together. birthday and celebrate yeah. the birthdays, the life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think. That's the one thing I'm looking forward to and that I'm hoping for is that we'll get to the point on the other side of this where it truly feels like a celebration. And hopefully we'll get there if we all can wear our masks. And, God willing. Yeah. yeah. And take off the mask. <laughs> right. Good, right? Right. Exactly. So we can breathe. Exactly. Carolyn, tell your fans, and I really want to know, what is your plans? Like, with your projects coming up, anything interesting coming up, anything exciting that you're excited about? Yeah, I mean, right now, we, right now what we're all focused on is hoping we're gonna get our seats into of Outer Banks. Um, what's really interesting for us actors is there's no auditions happening right now, right? So it's kind of this weird zone where there's not any auditions going on. So what I'm looking forward to is getting fresh scripts and getting new opportunities and getting to work again, whatever it looks like, whether it's on more Outer Banks or whatever, I just am excited to get back to work. And actually, it's funny, I keep forgetting this, but a couple of years ago, I filmed a movie in Atlanta called Dr. Bird's Advice for Sad Poets. I had a pretty small role, but actually I, I had a scene with, with um, Chase Stokes, who plays the lead in Outer Banks. So we met years ago and then didn't even really put it together until we were on set again. What and he has a great part. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that movie coming out and getting to see Chase and I have a really silly, funny scene together. So that'll be fun to see now that we've done Outer Banks. And so, yeah. Somebody has to say something. We need season two. Oh, they want season two. I know you guys, we do too. Your fans love you. They adore you. I can see oh. that. Everybody is saying something beautiful to you. They're all so great. <laughs> we, that's, I'm seriously, I mean, they're, they've been so, so wonderful and and fun and like I said so funny you guys the stuff you're sending us is is hysterical but Carolyn it's like so exciting to hear all the things that you've done you're an amazing <laughs> amazing young lady and thank you such a pleasure to have you at in love I'm sure we're gonna do more things together I would love, love it to feature you and we'll talk about that and wishing you nothing but the best I'm definitely gonna watch Outer Banks can't wait Please for do. that and I'm yeah. gonna send you my response my how I felt about the show and Definitely yeah. affects you and let you know. Do it. I want to know what you think. Enjoy your weekend. You too. All the best to you and your career and your family life. You too. And thank you. Thank you. And stay safe about. and healthy. And thank you so much. Ciao. Thank bye you bye. so much, Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Don't you just love her? She's an amazing energy. What a beautiful, positive energy. I absolutely love her. She's an amazing. Can't wait to see the show. Can't wait to see what she comes up with next. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for cheering Carolyn. She deserves it. She's an amazing young lady. And stay with us. Monday, we're going to have uh, also a beautiful singer, um, Jen Lilly. She's going to be performing live, and she's going to talk about all her things that she's been up to and all her plans. Thank you so much for joining in love. Thank you so much for being part of our show. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. And thank you so much for joining us. Good night.